Lalita, run! My God. Rip that flea! Watch her die. Prepárense para ver un mundo nunca visto antes pantalla con esta exclusiva de Alita Battle Angel. The action. The emotion. The grand world. It was all there. I saw it as this great female empowerment story. An incredible artist named Kashiro created Alita Battle Angel 30 years ago. Kashiro's creation is something that inspires dreams. Alita Battle Angel is about a girl who is plopped into the world not knowing who she is. What's that? Zalib. And she goes on a journey of self-discovery and discovers that she's not an insignificant girl at all. She is someone quite extraordinary. Dance a little, flea! It's all about this. If you can make the audience believe that that character is real in a tight close-up, and frankly, what are the only people that I trusted to be able to do that? I think we've been able to create a seamless blend of live action and synthetic action in one single frame. She's just realer than real. I love it! If you asked me about the timing of making Alita, it's not the technology. It was finding Rosa Salazar. Rosa Salazar is fantastic. I'm a warrior, aren't I? I loved her, and I felt like her. She was my person to look up to. It's amazing seeing Rosa's spirit, her light, come through the Alita character. When you see something like this, it's like something that looks so different than anything else. We need a movie like this right now. And I'm just an insignificant girl. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. All right, so you've done fantasy and sci-fi before, but it's been a while. You've sort of been in movies that were that reflect reality. So mm -hmm. was it sort of the change of pace, getting back to it, or sort of the quality of the offering of this genre that got you to jump on this one? Yeah. Uh... Like, I like all different kinds of movies, and it's just sort of the particular movie at the particular time. Mm -hmm. I like making different kinds of movies. I like watching different kinds of movies. Um, I thought that this... I was curious what James Cameron and Robert Rodriguez would do with this material, mm -hmm. you know? And I was particularly captivated by Alita as a central character. Mm -hmm. Do you... Uh, uh, kind of funny, because you spearheaded uh, you, uh, leads in, uh, where female drove the narrative, and that seems to be, like, re being revalued right now. So do you, do you think... Uh, that's something that's a cycle of things in, in the industry, or just uh, is there no really rhyme or reason as to why it takes so long between projects with a female uh, with a female lead? I think there's certainly more discussion and conversation about a need for that, and and more, yeah, there's been more debate about that in recent years, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. Uh, it's always a great time for there to be a film with a strong uh, female mm -hmm. at the center of it. Complicated. Um, I was avoiding strong because that from sometimes gets into trouble too. Like it's complex female character, I guess. Uh, yeah, well, strong can mean a lot of different yeah, things, yeah. you know. Um, but, but one of the things that surprised me about yours, which is, I guess, is, uh, your eclectic filmography is impressive. But uh, your character in this one is not necessarily a bad guy, but she is cruel. Was that interesting to play? Because she's so hurt by things that happen, well, and I she like, lashes out. Yeah, yeah. And that's. I, I, I think that I find the source of her uh, antagonism really moving, mm. you know, and she's so, she's so aspirant, you know, she, mm. but she's so deluded because she feels like um, this thing that she's carrying around, she, if she escapes this physical place, she'll escape that grief, mm. which of course is, you know, is never the answer. So as a film geek, Rodriguez has been a huge inspiration for me all, uh, all throughout my life. So how is it to actually be directed by him? Uh, He's lovely. Mm -hmm. He's um, was so excited about this film. And uh, it's always wonderful to work with someone who has such en enthusiasm and passion for what they're doing. Uh, and he seemed to have such joy, bring such a sense of joy to 
the process of making the film. You mentioned that you were curious about what Cameron and Rodriguez would do with the material, and something that impressed me is that in the myth, it's not a plot-driven movie. Like there's a scene where your character gets to have a conversation with Christoph Waltz's ca uh, well, character, and your history is addressed. Was that fun to have that sort of that meat on the bone to sort of get to play with it, this gigantic visual playground? Well, Christoph Waltz is such a great actor, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, so it was a delight working with him. Uh, Just to be in any scene. Uh, yeah, it was great. It was, yeah. it was really good fun doing that. This body, it has the power I need. I feel a connection to it. I can't explain. This could be who I am. You've been given a chance to start over with a clean slate. How many of us get that Why chance? Why did an enemy warship respond to me? Because I knew that ship. I've been on others like it, haven't I? Haven't I? Oh, whatever you were, it's not who you are now. No. <laughs> I'm a warrior, aren't I? So your list of directors that you've in your filmography is impressive. How does Robert Rodriguez uh, measure up? Uh, how was he? Because I'm a huge fan since since forever. Uh, so I was working with him. Well, measure up is not the right word. I'm oh. not measuring. You know, okay. uh, first of all, I measure in centimeters anyway. How was which the experience? How was the experience of working with him as, as an actor and having Great. him direct you? Great. Look, the the. Um, Robert has made movies for many, many years. I, I, I'm not even sure whether he knows how many movies he's made. <laughs> um, he has a certain style and way of shooting and way of working and way of putting it together. Um, and now this style is taken and transferred onto a, a big studio um, production that that he seemed to have avoided so far mm. and I'm sure it was not because of lack of offers it was his choice so it was also his choice to make that step that decision can be felt mm. could be felt in Throughout. every single step and can be felt on the screen yeah it definitely does the other thing that was surprising obviously uh, given the way the movie's being presented in the trailer is the epicness it's not a surprise but the humanity and the layers, particularly in your character, there's, your character's just not one thing. So it was, you get, there's many aspects, and that doesn't necessarily happen in a movie of this scope and size. Was that exciting to you? I, I um, regret to agree with you that mm. it does not happen. And, and, uh, but that's what a character is, you and I and he, and um, um, that's what the, the characters on a screen should be as well. Mm. Multi-layered, complex, um, with with traits to be discovered rather than one um, typical behavior that that is like a like a paper cut out mm. and um, that's what I'm looking for but that's um, as an actor but that's I assume what you're looking for as an audience yeah, yeah. so hey you know let's win. work together <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how did you take to because you've done big films before but for example there's you get to set, you look at your size, and today you have a very nice sort of father-daughter scene with, uh, with Rosa as Alida, but then another day you're doing like this massive, you know, you're holding this massive prop and doing an action, so uh, did you take to that part of it, sort of yeah, the but technicality that, of it? Yeah, you see, that's not how it works. Okay. That you show up in the morning and you look at the sides and say, oh, ah, that. Alida, <laughs> what's that? Um, no, no, I, you know, I get the script and, you know, I study Prepare. it and then I discuss it and then we rehearse it and so I know um, more or less wh where the point of departure is mm. and then you see whether you can take it further mm. and that's true and you do one scene one day and another another that's part of the job mm. so how about the technical aspect of it did you was that a particular challenge for you or did you take no, to it right away no no um, look I mean they're, 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 the 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 technical people involved in this movie are immensely accomplished professionals and some of them are, are top of the world so I let them do it <laughs> I just you know I don't want them to interfere with what I do either okay well pleasure talking to you sir thanks the woman in my memory called me 99 what you saw was a flash of your previous life who was I? In time you'll remember. <laughs> <laughs>